Hey, I'm Finn, a UX web designer at antler.co, and this is a day in my life. I'm going to give you a sneak peek into things like designs I'm working on, my tech setup, which meetings I have, but just generally what it's like to work as a designer on a tech team. Sit back and I hope you enjoy this video. So it's nearly time for my first meeting of the day at 10 a.m. And I'm here in my content creation room or home office. Normally I work from my co-working, which you will see very soon, but I just thought I wanted to show you how I use my office setup here during a meeting and also during my YouTube videos. So my computer here is just the MacBook Pro 16 inch, um, pretty standard. I also love my laptop stand here, which I will set up for you in a second. I also have my keyboard. This will just go in front of things. I use for my cars at home. I steal my brother's Elgato webcam, just gives that extra high quality call. Um, really important, my mouse. I use a Logitech mouse, which is ergonomic. Um, it's been with me across the world, Sony headphones uh, for ambient music, which I love to listen to. Now you'll see up here, we have my main light. We have a second key light. And if we go around here behind me, we have a LED strip. It just adds a bit more color to the background, which I really like for my videos. So this is my setup for my calls. Everything is ready to go. So now I'm going to jump on this morning call and I'll let you know how it goes after. So I've just got off my call with the marketing catch up and we went over time by over half an hour. Uh, we had a lot of good discussions. I found out that on um, one of the projects I started designing that prematurely. So with that being said, let's go to my co-working and I'm going to show you my setup there. You know, as designers, we're always working inside. And so even just this little walk to my bus stop every morning uh, allows me to get a little bit of sun and that really helps my mood, I think. So we're finally here at my co-working and my main goal for today is to put together some hero section design concepts for a new page that we're building. What I currently have here is a few page section plans. I'll run some video of this over the screen now. The way I design is I take these page plans and then turn them into designs using the content that I've written there. But as I said before, the main goal for today is just to get some ideas for a hero section and then present these to the team in our next meeting. I started with a couple of very simple options here. A normal hero section, a change with this image, how it's full here and slightly on an angle. Um, you'll see that in the Antler design system that we have these images that Antler uses as part of our brand. Uh, this is part of the Antler brand, so as you can see, this is just a giant tilted square, but it's just going off the screen like that. So I quite like this design here. I think this is probably the, the one we're going to go with if it was one of these two. Coming over here to the Flux Academy inspired one, um, I'm not as convinced um, as this one here personally. I think this looks cleaner. And going across here to the um, UX UI design inspired one, I actually do really like this section here. I'm not sure if it's going to be the right fit for a hero section, but I do feel like somewhere down the page we could do a section. We help founders and we just show a bunch of these founders moving in this cool animation like we have here. The next step is to just share those with the team, get their feedback so we don't invest too much time in one direction. And that's really it for now. So it is now time to grab some lunch. I'm gonna pop down to the supermarket where I usually grab a meal pre-made just for the convenience and have another coffee.
So now I'm back from lunch and I'm gonna get back into some more designing. Next up, I have a one-on-one -on -one with my boss, Stenny. Uh, this is a weekly call that I have every Tuesday where uh, Stenny and I just get together for usually an hour or half an hour and just talk about really anything that's on my mind. Uh, it could be project related to Antler, but it could also be related to my career or personal goals, but uh, really just an hour to talk to my boss. So that is up next. So I got a message in Slack that I need to add a new team member to the Antler website. Uh, this is a pretty common task for me as Antler's Webflow developer as well. So I'm going to get onto that. Now it's time to head back home where I will start the next part of my workday, which is more content creation, YouTube, video editing and filming. Um, so I will see you back there. So with my work for Antler out the way, for today at least, then I can move on to my second part of work, which is my side projects. And today I'm gonna to be working on a video about 3D mockups for designers. That should be out already by the time you're seeing this. So go check it out. I'm using over here Premiere Pro for my YouTube video editing. And I'm probably gonna go and design a thumbnail as well. So I'll keep you guys updated about that. So we are wrapping up for the day now. I finished designing the thumbnail. This is the one that I ended up choosing for the final thumbnail. And if we go to where the video is now live on LinkedIn and got, well, not too happy how the thumbnail, how this open graph image is played, but looking good on LinkedIn. And then if we go to YouTube, we actually have the video is scheduled for upload tomorrow. So that's gonna be all ready to go and I have to do nothing about that. So that was a day in the life of me, a UX designer. I probably missed a few things here and there, but that's roughly what a normal day looks like for me. So if you've got any questions, share them in the comments below or feel free to ask me anything. And I'll see you in the next video.